Okay, so here we are. I got all my graphics done. We'll go ahead and do uh, run the animation so you can see it. And everything's working. It's not looping because I turned the looping off. And so now we'll show you how to, you can, uh, well actually, let me show you all the frames here. So just kind of click through them and you can see how everything just comes into place real nicely. And how I named all my objects. Remember, you got to name them, name them as soon as you bring them in. Okay, so slide that out of the way. Slide this out of the way. Actually, I guess it's okay right here, not too bad. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, actually, I didn't want to dock that. We'll just slide it out over here. So the next thing is going to be, we want to make sure we're on the last frame. And we're going to make a copy of that. And this is where our text boxes are going to appear. Okay, we're going to select our text object and just click anywhere and start typing. And you notice it's white. So I can, uh, once the object is selected, I can go ahead and change that color to anything I want. But we want the text to be white because it's going to sit on the blue background. And um, as I said before in our uh, settings that we want this to be uh, five pixels off from the bottom, so we'll do five pixels. All right, and we also knew that we wanted um, it, it has to line up under each one of these. So if you remember our math from before, it was that 890, 780, 670. So we'll go ahead and do that here. So we're going to change this to 890, and she lines up really nice. Um, the width of it. I want to make sure the width is 100. All right, and we want to make sure it's uh, centered within the text box. We're going to click on that again on the little text uh, selector tool, and we're going to highlight all of this in here, and we'll tell it to center, and then we're going to click on our selector. We'll click on this again here. Whoops. See if I can get this thing selected here. There we go. I'm holding down the Alt key, and that's how, why the arrow changed so I could select that. And it looks like I have to type in my coordinates uh, once again there, 890. And there, it lines up exactly where I want it. It's the right color. Everything uh, looks good. So we're going to go ahead and, and make a copy of that. So we'll do. Um, uh, copy text line and then we're going to do a paste and we're going to line this up at 5 and this one here is going to be 780 and we just continue on doing that just pasting it and giving it our values our coordinates and they just keep lining up all the way down. Once again, I'm going to uh, just pause this and go ahead and finish it. But actually, before I do that, um, you notice that all the names are the same. So all we have to do is go in here and highlight the name and change it to whatever we need it to be. So it's that easy. Just make sure you've got the text tool selected here. And you can go in here and name them all. So once again, I'm going to pause this and I'll finish it up. Okay, so as you can see, I've got uh, all of the text boxes uh, named. And uh, that's my last keyframe. There's the one before it, the last one. Let's go. And uh, once again, you don't have to, um, uh, you don't name these. You don't name the text boxes because they're not animated. So let's go ahead and save and let's run the animation. I've got no errors. Everything looks good. They're all sliding in real nice and quickly. And there's my text. Now one final thing that I'll show you. Well, actually not the final thing. I guess I have to show you how to make the SWF file. Um, you can actually make these um, hotspots like clickable links. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. You go to, um, 
think it was web address. Yeah, and you can put a URL in here, whatever you wanted to do. Um, uh, let's just pick on Google. And let's see here, clickable. I see what I didn't do is I didn't select an object. So I've got to select this object to say what the URL is for. So, and google.com. Okay, same frame as the, as the document. So you've got all these different choices here. I like the same frame, the default. And you just click add. And then I can leave this window open and I can click on the next image and put in another um, URL. And let's pick on Yahoo this time. And add. Now if I want to go back, I can re-click one of those objects and I can make any changes that I want. I mean, obviously this isn't correct, but if I wanted to change it to .NET, we could do that. So change and now it's .NET. We're still on that object. I'll click on it again. Change it back to com. And there we go. When we're all done, you just click close. Now, when I go to run the animation, I haven't figured out why it does this, but it, it says that uh, there are unpaired tweens, um, and that's because we added those web addresses. I don't know how to get around that, but everything works. It's not a. It's not going to stop anything from working. Um, and I guess actually in this mode, I can actually click on it. Let's see here. And there we go. It opens up the Google window. So nice and clean. Okay, so the final thing that we'll do is uh, we'll save this and we're going to do File. And then um, I think it's Save As. Nope. Um, it's right here. Export uh, Animation. And we don't want to do it as GIF. Uh, at least I didn't. I did it as a flash file. So I click on that and we're going to save this to our desktop once again. And over here in options, here's what I was talking about earlier. You have to change this value as well if you want some nice clear graphics for a web page. If somebody has um, a larger font, uh, louser, a lou uh, larger uh, resolution, screen resolution going on. Just slide that up, and then I actually chose um, a Flash 8 format. Um, and then I clicked Apply, and then Close, and Save. Gives me this warnings again. Just click OK. And um, for instructions on how to insert your exported Flash to a web page, click on the View HTML. So I'll show you that in a second. So close, and it's all done. It's right here on my desktop, um, the file. OK, so we'll go ahead and test out that file. Let's open up a web page here. I'll drag this into the screen. And I should be able to just drag and drop the file right on it. And there we go. Now, in terms of embedding this into your own uh, web page, If we click on this um, preview flash animation and click the OK right here, we simply click on View HTML. And here's all the code that you'll need to embed this into your web page. That completes this tutorial.